Welcome to the Take a Listing Today podcast, where our hosts, Jim Studebaker and Todd Robertson, give you strategies to get you out of the office right now so you can take a new listing today. And now, here's Jim and Todd. Hello, welcome back. It's the Take a Listing Today podcast. Thank you for joining us. Show number 69. We are back at the beach today. Ooh, beautiful, beautiful day. Uh, very nice. Much less scary than the uh, things that were going on behind us last week. Welcome. I'm Jim Studebaker, and there's Todd Robertson. And our producer, Lisa Gray, in the house. There she <laughs> is. Once again, we are red, white, and blue today. Anybody notice that? You know what? And this wow. wasn't even planned. Okay. What it a patriotic... It feels like July 4th. Yes, <laughs> July 4th in November. Okay. Right. <laughs> well, uh, don't forget uh, our website, takealistingtoday.com, to learn about our upcoming shows and join us on for future podcasts. You might win some great prizes. We are about to call somebody to see if we can give her a great oh, prize. Yes. Her name is uh, Luella Venable from Raleigh, North Carolina, and she sent in a testimonial to our sponsor, Prospects Plus, and we're going to try to call her and make her day. Right, Lisa? Yes. All right. So off we go. She uh, <coughs> said she ordered some postcard mailings uh, for two listings, and that made them both sell very quickly. The cards went out in less than a week. And they looked great, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. <laughs> the you blah, can, blah, blah is what think, made her win, right? Right. I think you can see the whole thing on the blog of Prospects yes, Plus, yes. right? Let's hope she answers. There are yeah. prizes and books on the line. Yeah. We're going to give away your book and uh, Jerry Rossi's book in case yep. anybody uh, wants to relive Halloween. They can read that <laughs> chapter on the third eye. So, yeah. Or right. skip that chapter because mm -hmm. you might have some, uh, yeah, you might be going to see the psychiatrist. <laughs> If you're watching, Jerry, we sell a lot of your books on our show. Uh-oh. What do we do if we get a message? Try, try again later. We'll try again later. All right. Okay. Well, it, it, and if she doesn't answer later, then I say she doesn't get the, the initial $100. How about that? That seems a bit cruel. <laughs> oh, she's okay. already got it. Yeah. All right, fine. Well, maybe we'll try her later on. So today's topic, I don't think I haven't mentioned today's topic. We've been just uh, so excited about calling somebody. Uh, today's topic <laughs> is get fence sitters to join the market mm. or how to launch a fence sitter campaign in minutes. Actually, it's and. We're and. doing both. Oh. We are doing both. Both. All right. That's how awesome this is going to be. All right. So everybody knows what a fence sitter is, right? Somebody who maybe we're trying to get off of the fence to buy or sell real estate. So why is right now a perfect time for those fence sitters? Well, we have historically low interest rates. There's really been no better time to buy. And we might never see these rates again in our lifetime. It's possible. Maybe not. Absolutely. Absolutely. There are high list prices. It's an ideal time to sell an existing home. A lot of areas around the country are having multiple offers again. Yep. Bidding wars, things like that. Inventory shortage. Homes are selling and they will stand out and sell fast. So, of course, it's a great time to buy or sell. We just have to kind of convince those people that now is the best time to exactly, buy Exactly, because hesitancy in anything in life kills. Hesitancy kills, right? If you're, or do I do it, do I not? I'm thinking about any decision. If you come from hesitancy, not good. That's well, exactly a correct. a non-decision is a decision, right? Great point, yes. Yeah, a non-decision. Yeah, l let me but it's a bad decision, it. right? <laughs> right. <laughs> it's a very bad decision, so don't yes. decide that. Yes. So here are five direct mail targeted campaign golden rules to follow. So first of all, you want to target the right list, and we're going to show you how. Lisa loves this new computer over there where she can put up websites and, and show you stuff, so we're going to show you that. You want to provide a compelling offer, a free report, a call to action, a list of homes, price analysis, list of resources, something like that to get the uh, recipient of your mailing engaged. Postcard design. We spoke last week about our team of writers and designers in the underground bunkers with your credit cards. They are, <laughs> um, I think they're in separate rooms, but uh, they've got that covered. Continuity. Todd, you mentioned last week about the 3727 law of branding. Exactly. And if you're going to go after the Fenton Centers, if you guys listening and watching decide this is a system or strategy you want to put in place, guess what? Continuity is key. Oh, you can't. Oh, I did one mass mailing, didn't get anything. 
Well, yeah, that's what the average agent's going to do. Continuity means we stay with them until they buy or die. That means we're playing this game mm-hmm. at the highest level. And if you listen or watch our Market Dominator podcast, you'll know why. So the, the, the 3727, three is they know your name after three postcards, yep. three direct mail pieces of some sort. They know your name and your, well, just your name, actually. Just your name. Just right. your name. And then seven. Three times. Seven is name and business. So now they can associate the two. Mm. But are they ready yet? Some maybe, some not. And then 27, <coughs> that's the that's the Mind share equals market jackpot. share. Jackpot, yeah, now right. you're branded. Now you well, here's an branded. example of branding, right? How do you spell Rolaids? How do you spell relief? Mm-hmm. Right, I, I mess it up. R-O-L-A-I-D-S. <laughs> right. <laughs> I just did that to make her laugh. See, that? right, there we go. That was we a reverse joke. Happened. Exactly, nice but, job. But as funny as it is, that- <laughs> Now she's not gonna stop over right. there. <laughs> now we lost her, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be the whole show. <laughs> now that commercial has not been on the air for over 18 years, no. but why do people still know that? They branded Mindshare equals market share. But when it was on, did they show that commercial one time? No. No, it was hundreds over and, and over and over. Yes. That's why we remember that. Right. Right. So the final thing that you want to make sure that you do with your targeted direct mail campaign is track the results. You want to use unique URLs, phone numbers, and tracking on your website through things like Google Analytics, and also ask when people call you how they found out about you. That's how you can determine which methods are really working for you. So Lisa, would you please take us through the site and show us how we can launch a targeted direct mail campaign to target these fence sitters. And and as Lisa's about to go into this, right? We're talking about fence sitters in your business, buyers and sellers that are fence sitters. But I also want you guys to think about, are you being a fence sitter in any category of your business? You know, are you all in on marketing? Are you playing hesitant a little bit on marketing? Are you waiting for the sign calls or ad calls? So just process that for you, right? Write down in your success journal, where in my business right now am I being a fence sitter? Because the fence is not fun to sit on and you will either go one way or the other. That's great. Especially if it's a barbed wire fence. I can't <laughs> imagine that being very <laughs> yeah. fun Some to sit on. those fences are pointy. At yeah, that right. would hurt. You want to stay sitting oh, on. Yeah. So if you're watching, uh, hopefully you're not watching this, if you're listening to our show only while you are driving, keep tuned in because we're going to share a bunch of great tips and techniques. So even though you can't see what Lisa is doing over there with her mouse, we still have some great ideas for you, so keep listening, mm-hmm. please. And then when you get home, you can watch. Yes. Yeah. So I'm on the home screen right now. I'm going to go over to this. I'm at the, the uh, horizontal navigation bar. I'm going to go over to product, and I'm going down to postcards. Postcards. Very nice. And uh, what's the, the beauty of our e-commerce platform, Prospects Plus, is we have thousands of these amazing, amazingly designed postcards that you talked about earlier, designed. Mm-hmm by industry professionals. The downside of that is if you're trying to find a specific card, you're probably thinking, whoa, how am I going to get there fast? How are you ever going to find it? Yep. Right, right. And uh, Todd, I know you've talked about this before, how super easy this is. Well, I love that because uh, in the past, it wasn't always the case. And we worked as a company, right, to bring these tools to the agent. So now once you log into your account, you will see opportunities. You will see the simplicity. So we're going to make it very easy for you to search niches like she's talking about now Mm -hmm. or just Mm -hmm. to navigate around our site. There's actually a few different ways. You can go to categories at the top navigation bar and actually go down to niches Mm -hmm. and you'll find your fence sitters there. Or we've got a list of radio buttons at the top here. You can click on niche markets and get to your fence sitters there. Or you can go to the search bar and you can find your your fence sitters that way as well. So there's a couple different ways that you can get to your fence sitters, which is awesome. And now, see, I'm getting right to the fence sitters. They have a lot of niches on this site, right? Yes, yes. R- r- um, riches and niches. Yes, right. absentee owners, fence sitters, move up market. Uh, investors, high income, high income renters, high income consumers. Um, I can go on and on and on. I mean, it's just it's it's a plethora. Those are some of the top that the agents love to target, and spend a lot of time on targeting. Fence center is is really one of the most popular areas that agents target and do very well with. So I'm I'm hovering over the fence sitter sellers section here. If you want to just look at designs, there's a fence sitter buyer postcard series. There's a fence sitter sellers. Uh, you can just click on preview designs. You don't have to go any further. So that's a great tool as well that you can stay on this main screen of niches mm-hmm. and just l- preview some of the designs before you go any further. 
I'm going to go ahead and click get started because I want to get to the next page. And actually, you know, on the topic of fence sitters, oh, they ahead. have other materials as well, right? Like brochures or flyers? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. When I'm done launching this campaign, I'm going to go over, thank you for bringing that up, and I'm going to show you a couple products that we have that really marry very well to launching a fence sitter campaign. There's a trifold bro brochure that you could download and print out, or you mm -hmm. could have a bunch of them shipped to you, have them, uh, stick them in with your listing presentation for the fence sitter. If you know that's the individual you've gone after, and this is some copy, some information that's going to really appeal to them to read. And again, the free report as well. You can download and print those out, or you can have a bunch printed out by us, and we'll ship them to you, hand those out at open houses or anywhere that, any situation where you're targeting the fence sitter specifically. But the the the, head of, the name of those, the title is Timing is Everything. So I think that's a great topic for many people that are buying and selling, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm on the page <coughs> with the Fence Sitter series, Seller series, and if you notice on the left-hand vertical uh, column here, I've got size. So I have size options, jumbo and standard size. And then below that, I have shipping options. I have first class, ship to you, or download only. Now that is if I choose a standard size postcard, I've got, I have the option of shipping first class. If I choose a jumbo size postcard, I have the option of shipping first class or standard class. I'm gonna choose jumbo because go big or go home, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And first class. That's what we say around here, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna go down to <clears throat> add a list. So now I'm gonna go ahead and grab a new list of fence sitters that once I purchase, it will be mine. This is and exciting. Can, I've yes, heard a lot about this demographic yes. search, and I think this is the first time we've been able to show it on our right? uh, oh, it's, it's well, show and, here. And it's exciting for a lot of reasons, because once you are able to complete this step that Lisa is showing you right now, you have another system in place. You have this mm -hmm. in your account. So now you can do a campaign to them. Yep. And we talk about on the show a lot, and our show is to help you take a listing today, but we talk about what he or she with the most systems in place wins the game. Yes. You, yep. Your competition is not thinking this way right no, now. No, no. And this is such a simple thing to do. There's no reason to ever be intimidated when it comes to pulling these lists together. We do so much of the work for you. As you see at the top of the screen here, it says step one of three. One, two, three. How simple is that? So I started out, I either have the option of putting in a street address, I can put in one or more zip codes, or I can put a city or a county and state in. So I put in an address and I'm asking for a uh, one mile radius around that address. That's what I've chosen. You see that at the bottom in the drop down mm -hmm. there. And I can change that if I want to two miles or more. And I'm going to hit search. I hit my yellow button, search. Now, here's some of those other niche markets that you were talking about, Todd, the high income renters. This is so great because some of these markets, you don't even have to go beyond and source any further. They're titled, you just grab them and go. For this market, the fence sitter, I'm going to be a little more specific, so I want to customize this. So I'm going down to the custom radio mm. button. Do you notice when I clicked on that, the custom radio button, it just went right to criteria, popped right to the criteria screen. So now that I'm on criteria, uh, there's a, a few questions here it's asking me. Super easy. Homeowner or renter, of course. I want a homeowner estimated income. Now this is really up to you and your area. I'm going to go ahead and grab 70,000 and up is what I'm going to do. So I'm clicking all the radio buttons for 70,000 and up. Very quick and easy. And I'm going to dwelling size. I want single. Again, these are just radio buttons for those of you listening. It's one choice or the other. Single or multifamily. I want single. Gender, male, female. Of course I want both. Estimated home value. You should discriminate on that, should you? No, no. no. Right. <laughs> Estimated home value. Again, this is really going to be based on where you are. If you're in a, a big city metropolitan area versus a more rural part of the country, you you know who you want to go after. You know what your market is. So I'm today. I think I'm going to grab two hundred and fifty thousand, and I'm going to go all the way up to four fifty. That's going to be the range that I'm grabbing. So I'm just clicking those radio buttons two fifty to four fifty, and then I go to age range. This is the age of your consumer. Now, if we're looking for a fence sitter, we're probably not looking for a 20 year old, right? right. That wouldn't be possible. That's not even going to make sense. So or I'm a gonna, 90 year old. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. So I'm going to go 40 
all the way up to, I think I'm going to grab uh, 40 to say 69. I think that's a really good range there. And uh, you can go back and expand and change this if you feel you get too many people. Todd, apparently not we're not in the fence sitter category for whatever reason. So <laughs> Correct. It's okay. We're not fence we'll sitters. We'll get there one day. Yes. Right. <laughs> yes. Oh, because you're under the age of 40? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. yeah. That's, yeah. that's right. <coughs> I, I, how Reverse silly aging. of me. Reverse. How silly it's of doing me. Great. Yeah. Yes. yeah. And again, these are all radio buttons, so it's very, very simple. As you can see, those of, uh, those of you that are watching the screen. Uh, now we're getting to, this is the, the most important radio button to click. Length of residence. So if we're going after a fence setter, we want somebody that's been sitting in that home for a while, right? Mm -hmm. yep. I'd say the perfect age to start at is seven years. Seven years in that home, that means they're probably prime to move. So I'm going to go seven years and on. So I'm starting at seven, eight, nine. I'm clicking all the way through. So I want to get somebody in that home at least seven years. Uh, birth month, I don't care about all these other little buttons I don't care about. So I'm going to go ahead and search and see what comes up for that area that I that I chose. All right, it looks like it is doing some high it's level thinking. data calculations. Yes, it's bunker thinking. That's <laughs> yes. that bunker. Nice. bunker. Okay, so I have 768 Ooh. records that Good surround results. a two mile radius of that address that I put in. Wow. Yeah. yeah. What does 278 records cost, Lisa? Actually, this is it's so inexpensive. It's uh, sixty-one dollars for seven hundred and sixty-eight records at eight cents a record, wow. and this is not a one-time use. You're going after this niche. Do you want to hit them one time? No. Nope. No. So you own this list. Once you buy this list, you can hit them for the next year if you want. Can you mm -hmm. imagine at the end of a year how many of these fence sitters you will have gotten off the fence? Wow. Correct. Yeah. Even Pretty if five nice. or six of them, think about five or six closing just mm -hmm. because you chose yeah. to listen to this podcast and implement yeah. this. Yeah. Yeah. Sixty-one dollars is a pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap investment. Uh, and now you can go ahead and name your list. I'm going to name my list fence sitters. Mm -hmm. If you have a specific subdivision that you're going after, you could say fence sitters in that subdivision. Whatever you want to name the list. So now I've added the list. I'm back on the screen with my postcards. My list is added. We took our time talking about all the radio buttons, but can you imagine you're in there yourself? This is a very quick process to grab this list. So I'm back on my postcard screen, and I'm going to choose my postcard. Uh, uh, Jim talked about this earlier. What's great about these postcards is they are industry design. When you're going after a niche, you really want to defer to the experts who know how to write copy, they're targeting fence sitters. They know the pain and pleasure points of a fence sitter. They're using the visuals that go along with that copy and the headlines that are powerful that really create the excitement to engage and respond to the mm -hmm. agents. So I'm going to pick this doesn't take a crystal ball. That's going to be my postcard. Nice. And uh, does anyone want to discuss these these backs? Because there's six different backs to choose from here. Man, those are so such great backs. Well, <laughs> it, in my non-professional opinion, I would say that the one at the lower right-hand side mm. appears that you can put a property, yes. uh, perhaps a listing that you have on there. So yep. several photos mm -hmm. and give it a little uh, description. So that would be very nice. Mm -hmm. If we're trying to talk somebody off the fence to buy a house, why not tell them about a house that's available right there? Exactly. Yeah, yeah. that's looks a great like, call to action. Yeah, it looks like the one next to that, you can have a team. So if mm -hmm. it's a uh, couple people who are co-branding themselves, you've got mm -hmm. the ability to do that. And uh, that one over there just looks see. like nice and clean. Yep. That yep. one there looks like we have a, a little speech bubble with something brilliant mm -hmm. coming out of her mouth, but I can't really read <laughs> it from here, uh, Lisa. So. Right, there's two calls to action What about on your this? bionic vision? Right, the bionic vision is um, <laughs> on the fritz right now, so it's we're going to work on that. They're going to have to fine tune yeah, that. Okay. Exactly. This is mm -hmm. a seasonal back, and this one is for fall. So it has a really a nice uh, little statement there, almost uh, poetic at the top about hot cider and rake leaves and that kind of thing. And then at the bottom, uh, on the left side there, it, it uh, says if you hear anyone mention they're thinking of selling, reach out to me and there's your phone number. So you've got a nice call to action Excellent. on the left. The bubble on the right says I'm looking for a single family home with a nice yard for a local family. Let me know if you have something available. So we've got two calls to action there. It's a great back. And of course, I'm assuming that the customer can change any of the information yes. on that back. Of Absolutely. The any of these backs, they can change the information. Some of this information, again, it's written by industry experts. So, hey, when you can, defer to the experts. But yeah, if you want to add something, delete something, change, go for it. Go for Excellent. it. So I've got my front, I've got my back. 
I'm going to go ahead and edit my templates if I want to. I don't Holy have to. Holy moly, what just happened here? Lisa, <laughs> do we have... What? You, is that a glamour shot there? What is that? <laughs> um, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I, I did curl my hair that day, so it doesn't look like it. Okay. <laughs> All right. Whoops. Whoa. Um, <clears throat> so we have your, your logo, which came up automatically. Right. And we have <laughs> my cheeks are getting red now. <laughs> and we have uh, your your yes. high school prom photo is showing up there, and <laughs> and the Oops, postcard's sorry. ready to go out. <laughs> oh, yeah. God. She won't do that again. <laughs> no. Yes, yes. I, <laughs> Next week that photo will be changed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I have. There's nothing I have to do on this page. You're right. Everything has been done for me. Uh, so nothing to edit. And here's the back of my card. If I do want to make changes, there's the back. I can make those changes, but everything is there. My logo's there, my photo's there, my phone number, my website, everything is already on the back. Perfect. It's nothing for me to do, but I can if I want to. What so. I like about what you're showing, what you're showing the agents right now is the following, because a lot of people, and I talk to them every, every day about the market dominator. I love this area, but I don't want to go over there, over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I say, no, no, no. Let's take what people don't want. Like you mentioned high income renters, right? The niches. I said, no, no, let's take what people don't want. Let's do a campaign. Okay, like in San Francisco, they're like, okay, well, we'll we gotta pick a big number. We can pick any number. We wanna pick mm -hmm. uh, 85,000, 95,000. Now, I call that surgical prospecting. What, what Lisa just showed you is surgical prospecting. So people know normal prospecting, but wow, surgical means, ooh, I'm gonna go after the high income renters. Right. Why? Tax wise, boom, boom, all the obvious reasons they should buy. So Right, right, love right. It. And today we are surgically prospecting fence sitters. Yep. So we are grabbing can you imagine you, you know, you could send you could have a, a big neighborhood, uh, let's say it's around a listing of a thousand homes, and you could send this fence sitter postcard out. But why not surgically prospect, right. grab a fence sitter list? Now the odds are even higher. Beautiful. You're going to get a response because you've grabbed that seven plus years in the home. You grabbed the age range. All the you've criteria. All the criteria to make sure that you're getting the individual that you're after. Why wouldn't you do that? Yep. Why wouldn't you do that? So now we're on the proof page. We've got a high res front and a high res back of the postcard that we just put together. On the right hand side, we've got a project name. It says fence sitter, sellers. You can name it whatever you'd like. And it's just going over all of your information here. First class mail, jumbo size. You see your mailing list there. Uh, 768 uh, home owners that are fence sitters likely. And then if everything looks good, you go ahead and click on this is my final proof. Right below that, we have three different buttons, the schedule for later, save and add to cart. And today I'm gonna add to cart, but the schedule for later is a great button, specifically when you're after a niche, Todd. Isn't that true? Exactly, 100%, 100%. It's especially valuable when you want to send it out later. <laughs> yes. As the title, <laughs> references yes. the word later yeah so if you have a niche and so uh, all right fence sitters this is our niche in other words make it a campaign is yes. what you're saying make yes, it a campaign. Yes. so today i'm going to add this to cart i'm going to do that right now and this is going to go out i'm setting this to go out as soon as possible which would mean it's going to go out tomorrow but I want to hit these people. I've got this mailing list I've purchased. I'm going after these people. I'm going to get as many of them as I can. So once you're done purchasing this order, you can go back in, grab another card, grab your same mailing list that you own now, and get another postcard scheduled for next month. And that's where you're going to hit the schedule for later button. You go back in, got it. set one for two months from now. Go back in, set one for three months from now. You can do this in under an hour. I'd say you probably could set at least six months. Just go back in, boom, done, boom, done. As opposed to lesson. what people are doing now, they go in and do all this for one postcard. Three months later, or do all this for one postcard. And the yep. whole mailing list portion of what we went over, which took up most of the time, you only have to do that one time. Right, because right. Because now it's you there. just reuse the list now on I'm, each subsequent yep. mailing. Yeah, when you get to that point in the vertical left column yeah. where you're on the postcard page and it says add list, you click on that button and you see right there it says grab existing list and you just grab it mm -hmm. and you're done. Yeah, you just grab your postcard front. You know, this is like anything you do the first time you do it a little takes a little longer second time third time fourth time so if you're setting this for six months I just think you could knock this out mm -hmm. so fast so we are on the cart page you can see my postcard here uh, everything looks great I can hit checkout and 
I am now out on the checkout screen. If you have a credit card on file, that's going to show here just the last four digits. Again, PCI compliant, as we always say. If you have a promo code, you can add that here. We've got a shipping address for you that they're going to ship you a sample of this card. If you want to change that, you can change it, but it has defaulted to what you have in your profile. And you can look at your, I've got some other things in my cart right now, but you can go ahead You're and- You're a good and, customer. Yeah, yes. <laughs> I, I hmm. really, I love Prospects Plus. <laughs> I can't stop buying. Uh, so at the bottom here, I've got my fence sitter card, and you've got your total on the left, and you go ahead and just hit place order, and you are, you're off good to go. Off it goes. Yeah, um, off it goes. Wow. You're good to go. That easy. Uh, while I'm on the screen, I'm going to very quickly show you the other products that go very well with the fence yes, sitter campaign. Yes, the other products. Here we go. Nice. Because now we've launched this campaign. Yep. What else can we do? to really send it all the way home. So what I did is I went back to products, I'm going to flyers, clicked on flyers, and in the direct response report section, this is where all the direct response reports are, there is a report for everything and then some. There's a lot of stuff on this yes, website. We've got, oh, it, I'm unbelievable, unbelievable. We want you to see it all. We want our customers to see it all because this is all stuff that's well done, professionally done, and written to help, created, I should say, to help you succeed as an agent. So. Uh, let's see, scroll down again, we've got direct response reports for every topic you can imagine and down near the bottom we have one that is called Timing is Everything. This is perfect mm. for the fence sitter. Wow, so nice like, title. What you don't know about waiting could cost you plenty. Yeah, this mm. is a really popular direct response report. You can download this, do a one-time download, print out as many as you need from home and you know, throw them out of a plane. Send them out. <laughs> throw them yes. out of a plane. <laughs> Pay, send them everywhere. Send a drone over the Airplane area. Airplane prospecting. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Might send work, a, right? right. <laughs> send a drone over your fence sitter list area and just right. drop them. Uh, or you can have them shipped to you. We can print them for you, a big stack of those, and ship them to you. You want to add these definitely uh, an offer to receive one to your direct mail. Also to your website as an opt-in for an email. You can add it to your email marketing, put it on your social media site. There's so many things you can do with this. So this is a great addition to your fence sitter campaign and to download one of those is under $20. Super easy. Mm. Or if you subscribe to our marketing emails, we actually give away free direct response reports on Sunday. And it is possible that one will be given away one Sunday. Wow. Nice. And once you get that, you can repurpose it. You can use it however you want. Well, how does somebody sign up for that? <clears throat> well, actually, on our website, let me go to the main page. If you scroll down right at the bottom in the footer here, you can subscribe right there. There we go. Super easy. Put in your email, hit hmm. go, and you are good to go. And you are in on all the insider stuff. Wow. There's a, all kinds of cool emails that we have. But that free, that free report on Sunday is a big... Well done. That's front to back fence sitters from, yep. from how do I find them? How do I put them into my account? I own that list. I can, yep. I, I can do a campaign now and I have ancillary marketing pieces to help me back it up and not just do one thing. Mm -hmm. Just another great tool on how to prospect and get new leads all the time by looking at some of these niches. And, yep. and if, a, if a realtor did what you talked about, what you walked them through, they very could possibly take a listing by the end of that day or during that campaign. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. During yeah. the campaign. It's, oh, All right. Man. Well, so much for that. So that tells you everything <laughs> you need to know about how you can launch a fence sitter campaign in just minutes. So thank you for joining us. And don't forget today's show was brought to you by prospectsplus.com, offering real estate postcards that always work. You design, print, and mail them in minutes. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we go live with a new and exciting show. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you once again next week. Bye-bye. <laughs>